All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This reading by Kara Schallenberg, www.kray.org. The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. The Tale of a... Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. The root of a very big fire tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning. You may go into the fields or down the lane, but... You may go into the fields or down the lane, but... Don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. McGregor's. McGregor's. Your father had an accident there. He would. Your father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. He was put in a pie by Mrs. Mrs. McGregor. Mrs. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I am going out. I am going out. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather uh, blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. Squeezed under the gate. First, he ate some lettuces, and first he ate some lettuces, and some French beans, some French beans, and then he ate some radishes, and then he ate some radishes, and then, feeling rather sick, and then, feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley, he went to look for some parsley. But round the end of a cucumber frame, whom But round the end of the uh, of a cucumber frame, did he meet? But Mr. McGregor. Whom should he meet? But Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees planting out young cabbages, but he. Mr. McGregor was an. His hand and knees planting out young cabbages, but jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out, "Stop, thief!" But he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out, "Stop, thief!" Peter was most dreadfully frightened. Peter was most 
dreadfully frightened. He rushed all over the garden. He rushed all over the garden. For he had forgotten the way back to the gate. For he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages. He lost one of his shoes among the gob cabbages, and and the other shoe amongst the potatoes. The other shoe amongst the potatoes. After losing them, he ran on four legs and went faster. After losing them, he ran on four legs and went faster. So that I think he might have got away altogether. So that I think he might have got away all uh, altogether, if he had not unfortunately run into a gooseberry net. If he had not unfortunately run into a gooseberry net, and got caught by the large buttons on his jacket, and got caught caught by the large buttons on his jacket. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons, quite new. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons, quite new. Peter gave himself up for lost and shed big tears, but his sobs. Peter gave himself up for lost and shed big tears, but. Were overheard by some friendly sparrows who flew to him in great excitement, and implored him to exert himself. But his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows who flew to him in great excitement and implored him to exert himself. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve, which he intended to pop upon the top of Peter. Which he intended to pop upon the top of Peter. But Peter wriggled out just in time. But Peter wriggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him, and leaving his jacket behind him, and rushed into the tool shed and. And rushed into the tool shed. Jumped into a can. And jumped into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in. It would, uh, it would have been a beautiful thing to hide in. If it had not had so much water in it. If it had not had so much water in it. Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter. Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed. Uh, Peter was somewhere in the tool shed. Perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. Perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. He began to turn them over carefully. He began to turn them over carefully. Looking under each, looking under each. Presently, Peter sneezed. <laughs> Presently, Peter sneezed. Choo! Choo! It was after him in no time. And Mr. McGregor was after him in no time, and tried to put his foot upon Peter. Tried to put his foot upon Peter. Who jumped out of a window? Who jumped out of a window? Upsetting three plants. Upsetting three plants. The window was too small for Mr. Mc. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor. McGregor, and he was tired of running after Peter. And he was tried. Uh, and he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. He went back. To his work. Peter sat down to rest. Peter sat down to rest. He was out of breath and trembling with fright. 
He was out of breath and trembling with fright. And he had not the least idea which way to go. And he had not the least idea which way to go. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. After a time, he began to wander about going. After a time, he began to wander about going. Lippity, lippity. Not very fast. Lippity, lippity. Not very fast. And looking all around. And looking all around. He found a door in a wall, but it was. He found a door in a wall, but it was. It was locked, and there was no. But it was locked, and there was. No room for a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath. And there was no room for a fat uh, little rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep, carried. An old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep, carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Peter asked her the way to the gate. Peter asked her the way to the gate. But she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could. But she had such a large pea in her mouth. Not answer. That she could not answer. She only shook her head at him. She only shook her head at him. Peter began to cry. Peter began to cry. Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden. Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden. But he became more and more puzzled. But he ca-、uh, but but he became more and more puzzled. Presently, he came to a. Presently, he came to a. A pond where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. Pond, where Mc Mr. McGregor filled his water can. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. A white cat was staring,、uh, star- uh, staring at some goldfish. She sat very, very. She sat very, very still. Still. But now and then, the tip of her tail twitched. At- But now and then, the tip of her tail twitched. As if it were alive. As if it were alive. Peter thought it best to go away with. Peter thought it best to go away without, without speaking to her. Speaking、he、to her. He had heard about cats from his cousin, little Benjamin Bunny. He had heard about cats from his cousin, little Benjamin Bunny.